Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1994. I did not know this was a thing until literally, see, super visual football, until literally just now when I was watching a video on YouTube to come up with some other arcade football games to play throughout the, throughout? <laughs> During or throughout this month of April, you know, to help fill in that football sized hole in your life. And then I realised that it was a sprite scaler. Now, uh, it says European Cup or Championship in this one, so is that why it's called football? Which obviously is the correct thing to call it. But in the videos I watched on YouTube, uh, first of all, it's called Super Visual Soccer. I could find no entry for this on Wikipedia to read up on what hardware and stuff it was running. But because let's put it into perspective, sprite scaling or not, this is two years after uh, Virtua <clears throat> Racing. Anyway, right, so, yeah, it's a sprite scale and it's called Super Visual Football and Super Visual Soccer. Now, it's very quiet right now. You can hear all the traffic outside my house. Which is amazing how much there is of it, considering it's lockdown. But, so, it's world teams and stuff like that, and it's got this really unique sort of, um, you know, scaling effect of into and out to of the screen. But, first of all, you think it's really quiet. The music doesn't kick in into the game, which is awful. Uh, and you'll probably think it's a bit glitchy and the sound effects are really, really dull. From what I can see, I don't doubt that there might be emulation problems, but there's not uh, any reason to not give it a go. But from what I can see, everyone I've seen playing it, uh, it's glitchy. I mean, maybe it's because you're doing sprite scaling into and reverse of the screen and the sound effects are awful. You keep thinking it's like cutting into the music or, well, you know, or it's drops and stuff in the music, but it's not. It's just got a really bland, dull, ball slap noise. <laughs> <laughs> and also the music itself is pretty poor. But it could have emulation problems, by all means let me know. But it's such an interesting, there you go, European Sega Cup. Such an interesting way of doing a football game, I thought I'd give it a go, because all the other ones I've seen so far are side on. Anyway, money. Oh, you oh bollocks, what were the buttons? Four buttons. It's a map to my Duke though, because I'm playing this on my modded OG Xbox. Oh well, we're winging it. Right. Mutually quiet. Right, league. First of all, Sega points off there. England, that's not the England flag, that's the Union flag. It always gets on my tits when people do that, but your Sega, someone let you off. Still fail, though. I'm guessing the music's that quiet because, uh, it's like I said, it's not emulating properly. Right, so, pass. Pass back. Right. Actually, know the music. Forget what I said. It does look like maybe everyone's having emulation problems with it. Oh, sweet! I have no idea what I did with that because, uh, yeah, and that weird, skitzy, uh, glitchy screen effect on Jumbo Vision. I think they just—that's actually an effect in the game. Again, I never even knew this was a thing. So, if you've played it or know of it, and it is, you know, balls up on emulation, let me know. But I had to play it because, you know, why not? It's a very unique into the screen football game. Oh, look at that! Did, why were we rewinding? Yoink. So, is it called like um, Super Virtual uh, or Visual, sorry? Um, soccer in like, I don't know, Japan and the Americas? You know, where they call it soccer because they're incorrect. Oh look, there is glitching on the side of the pitch there. So yeah, it's not emulated properly, but I just like, you know, I like its style. I like the way it rolls. Half time! Look at him getting all excited! He's celebrating a half time whistle. Quiet music. Oh, and we're straight back out. Those were some quick half time oranges. No one playing towards me. This should be interesting. I don't know. It's a lot harder to see which player you've selected. Hey, this is weird. 
diagonals. They always seem to work in arcade games. And why would they not work now? Oh, go Union Flag. So yeah, if the emulation is off, I do apologise, but you know, what an interesting game. I'll have to troll more YouTube videos to see if I can find out what it looks like properly emulated. Again, if you all know, let me know. I mean, it's quite, it's quite an interesting sort of way to do a football game. Right, who am I? There we go. Oh, foul! Get on that ref! It's in their pocket. See, when it goes into that perspective, you can't even see how big the ball is. Or where, I don't even know if, how well you can control your keeper. Right. Now someone's trying to shoot me. Oh! Like the way it says goal, even before it hits the back of the net. Back of the net. Points for that quote. Cheeky little impression was the giveaway. Right. Time up. Yay! And the winner is England with the wrong flag. And dear Lord, what happened to her face? She's got hay fever for two, clearly, look. I'm guessing there should be stuff written there. Yeah, the emulation is way off. There should be stuff written there, or there should be sample speech. Or maybe she's just, you know, not a talker. England versus Greece. Again, this is 1994. A lot of football games coming out in 94 featuring England when the irony being we didn't qualify for that World Cup. Oh, the pain. I don't know. I, honest to God, again, I don't know what the buttons are. So there's probably a short pass, long pass. Shoot. Foul. Who fouled who? Penalty? Give me a penalty, please. No, I found it. Oh, bollocks to that referee. The referee is, you know, that word we all say in the audience. A wanker. What? So there is a power as well. This is very... Oh, look at him wigging out. Oh, look how quick the ref... Oh, my God, he's the flash. So there's a power gauge as well. I would love to play an actual proper, well not even an emulated version, but one that runs properly, an arcade version of this. Can you, does that mean you could lob the keeper from the halfway line? Super Vision Football! I know it's an arcade game, but the halves are too short. Uh, you lose one point every time you finish a game, you also lose one, you're not uh, in the lead at half time. Uh, if you make a hat trick, you'll get a bonus point. Try to pass to your ace striker. One, who is my ace striker? Two, that's a very interesting way to mix it up in arcade town. Oh my god, yeah, it's, it's not even in properly. Still, you know, it's football month. We've got to have a look at these things. Yes, I'm calling it football month now. Oh, look at him! Right, well there you go. I think you get the impression. It's a very unique football game, obviously using sprite scaling. Uh, and yeah, I like the fact that they did something different. Whether whether it emulates properly or not, but kind of cool. If you did play this back in the day, I would love to... I didn't do anything. I wouldn't press any button. I'd love to know what you think. And uh, yeah. Super visual football. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.